And you know, Senator Sifuna, teach him some manners. Mr. Speaker, it cannot be that every time, it cannot no be. No point of order. Nothing is out of order. It Senator cannot be, Mr. Speaker, Speaker, that every time when other leaders are speaking, you want to be the one that you are shouting. You are shouting at the Speaker. You are shouting at the colleagues. For heaven's sake, you're only three months old in this house. Keep your calm. Learn. Be a good, disciplined student. There is nothing. There is nothing to be excited. There is nothing to be excited about being elected. For your information, I have been elected three times, and I didn't have to, to try six times like you before coming to this house. Majority country. Have your cool also. You know, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, so Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it cannot be. Have your seat. Take your resume your seat, Senator, Senator Sifuna. I. Why do not teach you now? Senator, majority leader, I want anyway, to make some progress. Anyway, this is my point of order, Mr. Speaker. I have given the direction on no, Mr. Speaker, how, what we are doing. I want to. I, no, I haven't invited you to my point of order. My point of order is standing order number 121, Mr. Speaker. And I want you to read it with me so that it can be understood. A senator is disorderly if, number one, creates disorder like they are doing, two, no need to read it. Three, unnecessarily interrupts the proceedings or consults in a disruptive manner. That is what we are witnessing this afternoon, Mr. Speaker. What option do you have? Because we now want to progress. The side that I lead wants to sit down and conduct the business that brought them to this house this afternoon. We are tired, Mr. Speaker.